is not heard of about the crisis rocking the main opposition people's democratic party pdp it was gathered in abuja on monday that the discovery of a plot by a section of the party's leadership to sack the national chairman senator iyocha ayu was largely responsible for the postponement of the caucus and national executive council meetings of the party earlier scheduled for Wednesday and Thursday. Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post a new video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. Hayu's loyalists within the party's National Working Committee and the Board of Trustees were said to have advised against convening the meetings amidst what one of the loyalists who spoke in confidence described as a hostile environment. A usual reliable top-ranking source within the party hierarchy who spoke to Newsroom in confidence explained that despite platitudes, tension is still very much high. The source said, as far as I know, River State Governor Nelson Wiki does not have any problem with Atiku. Hayu has not been transparent in handling party affairs since it took over. And the role he played during the selection of a presidential running mate won him a lot of enemies. There are a lot of issues in our state chapters which he ought to have handled differently. If the Carcass and INEC meetings had held as scheduled, a vote of no confidence would have been passed on him. The shift was necessary to allow tempers calm down. Another source also said the shift was necessary to allow reconciliation efforts pull through before party members are brought together under the same roof. However, another party source said there is no problem. We had to postpone the meetings because our presidential candidate is not around. This is the first neck meeting we are holding since our primaries and we need the attendance of all leaders. We had our BOT meeting last week and we thought we could follow it up with national caucus and neck meeting, but we discovered there are so many things we need to undo first before doing so. Besides our candidates and others who are critical stakeholders indicate that they are unavailable on the fixed dates. Despite the fact that Professor Jerry Ghana hosted both parties, that is Wiki, Atiku, and, you know, their supporters from both parties at his house, you know, in order to settle the matter amicably, the crisis has still persisted. It has still persisted because even at the National Working Committee of PDP held, like, a few days ago, Wiki's members, Wiki supporters, Wiki um, loyalists still did not show up at that meeting and they knew that if they go on ahead with this uh, meeting, they know that a lot of people are not going to be in attendance. The crisis still persists even after they have made efforts. And I think that this um, national chairman of PDP, he, he waited too long for him to, you know, reach out to Wiki. Had it been immediately the, the crisis, immediately after the PDP convention, that is the primary, took place, he had tried to reach out to Wiki. I feel that this crisis wouldn't have worsened to this extent. It wouldn't have gone to this extent. But immediately it happened. I think that they felt that, you know, Wiki would get over it, like he should get over it. But my man was not ready to get over it. Like he was still ready to old grudges he was waiting for them to reach out to him of course they didn't and they waited for so long or you know by that time 
uh, a lot has happened. The bitterness has, you know, ran deep and other issues have even come up to add to that one. So even at um, the, uh, the NWC, it, all of Wiki supporters, they did not show up. The crisis in People's Democratic Party, PDP, persisted as leading figures in the Governor Nelson Wiki Presidential Campaign Council, who are members of the Board of Trustees of the party, were noticeably absent from the board meeting. The Board of Trustees of the party had scheduled the meeting to resolve the issues thrown up by the party's recent convention, which threw up Atiku as the presidential candidate with Wiki coming second. This came on a, on a day young members of the party stormed its national secretariat, Abuja, in protest over the 2023 governorship ticket in Delta State and asked the national chairman, Iyocha Ayu, to resign. Those who weren't cited during the meeting held at the National Executive Council Hall at PDP National Secretariat include Governor Nelson Wiki, Professor Jerry Ghana, and Senator Zainab Kure. Although details of the meeting held behind closed doors were shrouded in secrecy at press time, it was gathered that the crisis of confidence between the party's presidential candidate, Atikwa Abubakar, and River State Governor Nelson Wiki featured prominently. The source privy, a source privy to what transpired behind closed doors, who spoke to newsroom on condition of anonymity, so as not to further inflame passions, said, after taking stock of what transpired during and after our national convention and the choice of running mates, we all agree we have a problem. We cannot deny the fact that we need most, if not all of our party members on board, but the question is, at what cost? There were those who raised issues with the party's current leadership structure, which has been one of one of the bone of contention of Wiki and his group. As things stand today, our national chairman, chairman of the board of trustees, and of course, our presidential candidate are all northerners. We need to balance our sense of history with fairness in order not to give our opponent talking points during the campaign. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Leave your comments down below. I'll be responding to all of them. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.